An estimated 24.4 million Americans suffer from PTSD. Teresa Egbert, a junior soil sciences and microbiology major, was one of them. Be the first thing I thought about when I woke up, the last thing I thought about when I went to sleep, and it was just destroying my relationships and everything in my life, really. Teresa tried many treatments, but none of them seemed to help until she looked into microdosing with psychedelic psilocybin mushrooms. It was the first time I woke up and I didn't want to end my life. It was the first time that I woke up and I was like, maybe I don't have to live with this forever. And it was just the first time that I felt like I had some kind of hope. Psilocybin is currently a Schedule One drug, meaning it has a high potential for abuse, no accepted medical uses in the United States, and a high risk of toxicity. However, the FDA recently granted breakthrough therapy status to psilocybin. Dr. Ken Kassenbrock, a mycologist at CSU, explains why. They appear to be make a major difference in many people's lives, a, a sort of transformative experience. John Hopkins University, the NYU School of Medicine, Sao Paulo University, and many others have tested and shown that psilocybin can help combat mental disorders. It's not just universities doing the testing, though. There are people already using these substances, and for many of those people, the biggest problems they face are the legal challenges rather than the toxicity associated with the substance itself. Psilocybin mushrooms are by no means a miracle cure for mental illness, and there are potential dangers. At, certainly at high doses, people can imagine they can fly and jump off buildings or stare at the sun and burn their retinas. So I, I think the models that are the most interesting in terms of society now are potential administration of these substances under the guidance of a therapist. There are already movements around the United States to make these treatments available. On May 7th, the city of Denver will vote on Ballot Initiative 301, which would decriminalize psilocybin mushrooms in the city. The state of Oregon will also vote in 2020 on an initiative that could legalize psilocybin therapy. These initiatives could pave the way for further legislation on a national level, and Teresa is excited. Mental health is a really big problem um, right now, so we need more options, and I think this could help a lot of people, so it's important to me.